Keep making us wait, Nintendo. Keep making us wait. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates. Today and only today, we're not even here to talk about anything Nintendo. Instead, we're actually here to talk about the Sonic movie and the Sonic franchise because I specifically want to talk about how the Sonic movie's success might impact the future of Sonic in a good way. So right now, as of today, we know that Sonic Movie is at about $217 million in the box office. That is fucking incredible, first of all, right? Like, this is a movie where it cost what? I think it was, the budget is $85 million, and now it's made over double that. Again, it's not the billion dollars that Avengers does, but you gotta think this is a Sonic the Hedgehog movie in like the sort of live action fucking CG thing that not only turned out fucking awesome, but the fact that it, it like it's made so much money has been a success and that is thanks to the release timing, the positive reception and everything, right? It's like it released at a perfect time. It's a great movie. It's for all ages, hardcore fans, kids, adults, anything. So it's like it's just in a perfect position and still making some bank. I expect it to get to maybe... 250 million. I would have said it could have hit 300 to 400, but the Chinese release of the movie, which could have been a big boost, uh, is being delayed because of the coronavirus and shit, so it might affect those big sales, but either way, massive success. Now, let's talk about, in general, for the movie. This obviously means this movie is a franchise. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if we hear in a in a couple weeks now that they've greenlit the sequel, right? I'm sure internally they're like, yeah, we're we're doing it. But I'm sure like we're gonna get an official statement that uh, we're gonna get a sequel. And if you saw the movie, I don't want to say anything in case you didn't. But it ends on two notable story things where you're like, ah, I see where you're going here. Um, so obviously the franchise is going to continue there, and I'm really excited because again, this means that. This we can flesh out this world, these characters, and man, if they all look as good as Sonic and other notable things we saw in this movie, we're in for something fucking good. Because again, they've nailed the they get the idea of Sonic, the world, and everything, and all they gotta do is flesh out everything. It's gonna be sweet and great. Now, what this means for the video games, I feel like that's actually an important statement because I feel like now there might be a bit more pressure at Sega to make the next 3D game something notable, something that people are gonna really love because. People are eyeing Sonic right now. I mean, like, there was a bunch of sales on Steam and other stuff for Sonic games. People got into those. Right now, for Xbox Gold and uh, PlayStation Plus for the month of uh, March, they're given a free Sonic game. So, they know there's clearly a new demand for Sonic games, right? And obviously, Sonic still, games in general, sold super well. But this movie is definitely boosting up Sonic's, like, you know, like, what's going on with him. So, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be eyeing that announcement that's coming at SXSW in March. Which, for those of you that don't know... It's like a big panel in March where they usually announce something Sonic related. Last year at the panel, that all they did was show some comic stuff and stuff, and they were like talking about Team Sonic Racing, and they also said, "Hey, the next 3D Sonic game is in development." Well, they just said the next Sonic game is in development. So yeah, what does this mean? Now, yeah, like I said, it's gonna mean that there's definitely gonna be more eyes on Sega to be like, "Oh shit, okay, we gotta kind of make sure the next game is something great because more people are gonna be buying this, right?" And I think a couple things come out of this. So first of all, ports. I think we need more ports of Sonic games. Right now, there's a sale going on in the PlayStation Store, right? It's called the Ultimate Sonic Bundle, and it's like 25 or 30 bucks. And it's like Sonic Mania, which is fantastic, Sonic Forces, and Team Sonic Racing. Now, I like Team Sonic Racing. Sonic Forces is alright, but it's like, that's not the Ultimate Sonic Bundle. That's fucking three games, you know? It's like, they need to put out more ports of Sonic games because people will play them, people will buy them. Look at Xbox, because uh, of backwards compatibility. They can play Sonic Generations and CD and, and 3 and a bunch of them. Um, I don't know if you can play 3 there, but you can play a bunch of Sonic games there, and I think that's where it's not an issue. But on Switch... Come on, on Switch, the platform where most Sonic games are most likely, you gotta have more games on there. So first of all, work on that, Sega, please. Second of all, for in terms of a new game, like I said, I still think, I talked about this in an earlier video, I still think the new 3D Sonic game is either a remake of Adventure or something entirely different, right? We uh, So it's like, it's such a hard call to make. I mean, we have no fucking idea what it's gonna be, but I just think those are the two logical routes because I think we've exhausted the boost formula. Boost formula, very cool, I like it, but I feel like people want something new with it and because we've had it for a while, we've had it in Colors, Unleashed, Generations, and now Forces, so we'll see what happens there. So then we have the idea of what, it's in, what if it's a new style, not adventure remake, but a new style. I don't know what that could mean. Maybe it's like an open environment that you can spin around or do whatever the fuck. It's going to be hard to tell there. But yeah, I, either way, I think the next 3D Sonic game is going to be a little bit like... 
a little bit more like fucking assured quality and I, I and usually the Sonic games kind of bounce up and down either way like sometimes you have like usually it goes like colors and something and then Sonic 4 and then it goes generations and then it goes forces it, it, it fluctuates all the fucking time and unleash people really like but it's like I don't know so either way they just gotta pump out something really awesome there and I think again Mania 2 I just don't it's so hard to tell because again we don't know what the team because we know the team of Christian White and all those guys they made a new studio but we don't know what they're working on they said they want to work on other stuff but we don't really know what they're doing either way I would just be shocked if Mania 2 or some spiritual successor isn't in development because I think we've seen clearly enough that there, there really is a, a divide, right? There's the 3D Sonic fans and the 2D ones. Now, usually the 3D ones also like the 2D ones, but not all the 2D ones like the 3D ones. So, I just think the 3D games need to stick to 3D, like Adventure or whatever the fuck, and the 2D ones need to stick to Mania style, where it's pixel art, it's new areas, new levels. Because, again, imagine Mania 2 is more unique art style levels, right? And more new stuff, you know? So, it's like, I just wouldn't... I don't. I can't see a world where Mania 2 isn't happening at some point, because that was such a big success for them. But, yeah, again, like, I just think the movie's success is actually really a good benefit. And also, another thing that's notable to talk about is the voice actor, right? Because a lot of people, I don't know why... I feel like this narrative kind of started out of nowhere where... Well, not out of nowhere, but, like, apparently the guy, Roger... Craig Smith who voices Sonic currently in the games apparently he's becoming really expensive and it's becoming not that easy to work with he still does stuff for Sonic and I still think he'll do stuff for Sonic but if they got the guy Ben Schwartz who voices the movie Sonic to voice the games I wouldn't be opposed to that because he actually sounds like Sonic but but also sounding like his own flavor of character so I wouldn't mind it when I watched that movie I was like I didn't question it once I was like yeah you sound like what Sonic I would expect it to so if he was the new voice actor yeah and another weird one right would be like license movie games now I don't think they'd go that route because we have Sega controlling Sega team and Sonic team and all that stuff but it's like I'm sure maybe they would do like a mobile game of the Sonic movie or whatever because I definitely don't want a Sonic game where we've got all the human characters and like again Jim Carrey I love him but it's like I don't necessarily want him in a game style so yeah anyway either way I just think the future is bright let me know what you guys think let me know if you're excited for the future let me know what you're predicting next month's big announcements are gonna be and I will see you all next time peace I love you Oh,